Hey everybody, this is a uh, Super Sable update. I'm, I'm going to call this uh, Sable Sundays or something like that. Um, it's the end of the day. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Uh, it's beautiful weather here in North Texas. Sunny, upper 60s, almost 70 degrees. Uh, long weekend, having a beer, so have a shiner everybody. Um, I'm, I'm not getting paid for that. What I wanted to show you guys was uh, just the beauty of these sables. So I got a couple of emerald isles over here on the side of the driveway. So I'm going to pan out over here. Here, here's the side of my driveway. You can see once these grow up, these are going to be pretty cool. So these things were planted probably two years ago. As mentioned, these were emerald isle giants. I have literally never done anything to these things. These were even pretty neglected in terms of the drought. Um, these look really, really good. Uh, obviously, I mean, yeah, they're miners. Um, got one over here too. I think once these things actually, once they grow up, these are going to be pretty sweet, man. Nice little naturalized kind of environment. I got my son here. Here's Theo in his cowboy boots and his Texas stuff. He is, uh, he's a true Texan. There he is. He loves his sables as well. He plants with me. He's a great kid. Uh, but yeah, these are going to be bigger. And also, there's a, um, a needle palm that I actually planted here. So just if you're wondering, I do plant other things outside of sables, just not very many. So here's a needle. I thought this thing died. I believe it's spear pulled. Um, but here it is. It, it's growing. It's going to be nice. And then in relation to my driveway, it's just going to kind of be this little area over here. Your sable row. And... Uh, I got some plans actually for this area over here. Here's our, our, our retaining wall and, and here's a culvert. We get a lot of water, pretty, pretty ferocious water when we get an inch, two inches of rain. But I got a plan for this area right about here. I'm gonna walk you through that in the future, but it's, it's, it's going to involve beach sand, um, a wooden retaining wall just to hold back some of the earth probably a row of foliferas or bald head island palmettos so stay tuned that's going to be a whole project in and of itself and then i also want to show you really quickly i'm going to walk up my driveway I'm going to turn this around um <clears throat> just again the reason why i love birmingham and i'm telling you people out there if you guys don't have a planting of birmingham's consisting of probably 90 percent well maybe not just birmingham but sables in general especially birmingham's you should just have a lot of these of Louisiana's, of Birmingham's, of Brazoriensis's. Um, and if you need them, let me know. I got them. But I'm telling you, if you aren't planting these by the dozen here, people, you're doing it wrong. Because you get one cold snap. Ask our friends up in Tennessee. You get one cold snap and you're out there covering stuff with two by fours and shelters and thermo cubes and all that nonsense. And ain't nobody got time for that. But here's an example. Birmingham's at the top of my driveway, planted probably two years ago. Been through two winters now. Um, this one, and I got one over here. I have never done anything to these. These are, are neglected, they're forgotten about, and they are going to be beautiful, and I'm gonna have some huge palms at the top of my driveway that I never have to worry about, by the way. And then the plan is in the spring, Probably about five feet from this one down here. I'm going to do a Louisiana. A Louisiana on this side. And then probably like a Tamalupus. Or a, sorry, Tamalupus over here. And over here. And probably something else even uh, at the end. Like over here. Maybe a Brazoriensis here and there. So I'm going to line this driveway with some sables. So as mentioned, it's your uh, super sable update for Sunday. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. Hope you planted a couple sables. Uh, would love to hear about it in the comment section. Like, subscribe, and uh, go get out there and, uh, and get at it. Plant some sables. Have a good weekend, everybody. See ya.